Hi, this is Travis Dodds Physio here to show you the do-it-yourself thumb tape job for sports that require full wrist mobility. Um, first, going to talk a little bit about prep. So prep, basically for this tape job, you want to have a nice clean, dry surface on your hand. And uh, you may choose to use a product like Tough Skin uh, Adherent or some kind of a tape adherent. Spray that on your hand so that it's going to make the uh, tape stick down a little bit more. Typically, don't want to use... Um, anything like uh, pro wrap or whatever because it's gonna um, generally just make the tape job loosen up a little bit for you and it's not really necessary for the hand usually um, so next up we're gonna do our anchor um, so say we've got our, our spray on there um, anchoring from the middle of the palm and then aiming over the fat pad or the, the fat part of your um, thumb there um, coming around the back of the hand and then aiming for this corner here of your hand so that that's when you hit that corner the tape's going to angle upwards come through the palm as it does that when you get to this portion right around the thumb you can pinch down part of it so this is going to prevent the tape from cutting you in that area of, of the web space of your thumb okay and then so just coming back over the back of the hand here uh, that's where we're going to finish up that's our anchor Okay, so you can just kind of press that down, make sure that it's nice and solid. Now, you notice that here I've got some strips of tape. These are that I, I kind of cut in advance. A little bit wider than the span of pinky to thumb. And uh, what I find tends to be easiest with these ones. Now, you need to think about which direction your, your thumb has been sprained in. So is it mainly this part here that hurts? So it hurts to bend it backwards. Or is it mainly this part here that hurts and it hurts to go sideways? Usually those are the two that are most typical that we'll see. So um, first we're going to look at what to do for this part that's sprained here uh, on the underside. So if it hurts to bend it backwards. Um, these are thumb spikas. So we can take the uh, tape here and um, basically want to get the thumb into a position where it's going to be functional, right? So this is a kind of position where you could still, you know, put your hand on a basketball or a volleyball and um, if we come around here uh, into the palm of the hand that's going to secure your thumb into that position and uh, make it difficult for it to push back out of that position okay and then the other one just gently lays across the back um, not much tension has to go down especially as you're coming across it just needs to be you know uh, tight against the skin but like I say, not a lot of tension. Um, once you've got that first strip laid in, then you can use that strip as a guide to uh, follow along so it's a little bit easier to get your next strips uh, figured out in terms of your angles, where you're going. Um, so as you come through, now this is where I really like to put this strip on second because this is the one that actually restricts the extension movement. So you can see I've just come just barely over that joint. I'm pulling inward and so as I press that tape down now it's going to be hard to push that joint into extension okay so that's our second strip we're going to do three or four like this and you can kind of change up your angles just a little bit as you come through so you overlap these maybe by about half Again, laying down pretty loosely as it comes across the thumb, but now once we're to this point, we can tension it into the palm. And the reason you want to lay it down loosely because you don't want to lay or you don't want to uh, cut off the circulation in your thumb. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good getting up high into the thumb here. I think my next one might come down low, close to the knuckle again. Now, in this case, maybe uh, most of my angles are all pulling across the palm. Maybe I want to bring this one downwards a little bit more. Okay, so that's going to restrict a little bit more of the sideways movement. Okay, now if we need to restrict this sideways movement, so again, we're interested in this joint here, and, and if it hurts to push it in this direction, then what we can do, we can do more strips like this one that we just did, uh, or we can take a short strip of tape and kind of follow 
uh, this fat part of the thumb or the pad of the thumb uh, come up across that joint there so we'll just get this down here okay come up across that joint and at this point we want to make sure like if we're trying to restrict our thumb from going this way as we apply this tape you can pull the thumb in the opposite direction a bit so it's going to take up any extra tension there and just slowly or, or carefully wrap that around uh, without too much tension. Now having that strip down there has given us the support along this side of the joint so if it was this side that was sprained now you can see it's not so easy to push there Right, so you might repeat that once or twice if you if you feel that you need additional support at this point. Okay, so those are our functional portions of this tape job. Um, next thing that we're going to do, you can see there's a big area here that's a window. So we want to close up that window, make sure that we don't get any um, tape cuts. So just take a small piece of tape and wrap it around that area. Okay, these are called hoods. So wrapping your hoods around there, I'm just going to prevent that tape cut. We need one more. Come around this area. These are not the most functional part of your tape job, so you mainly need to just provide a uh, closing for that window. Okay, and then uh, to finish, we're going to do our last anchor. So we're going to repeat. Oops, that anchor. So we've done all our functional strips. Uh, repeating our anchor to close. Okay, so starting in the palm there, coming around the back of the hand, hitting the corner. As we come down here, hitting the corner. Okay, and angling upwards through the palm, pinching down as we come through. Okay, onto the back of the hand, like that. Okay, I'm just going to tear that away and uh, press it down, make sure that it's nice and tight. Okay, now at this point you can see uh, the thumb maybe looks a little bit redder there, but uh, just to make sure that we haven't restricted the blood flow into the thumb, um, you can pinch off and so it's going to blanch there and that color should return within three seconds so we can see that worked out pretty good and uh, that's your thumb tape job now last one we might do ha having done that extra support for the lateral part we may just do um, a little half strip up at the top to uh, to close that in as well so up here on the thumb you can just do a little strip to close that in and make sure that that part doesn't unravel during play Okay, so that's your thumb tape job. You should test it out. Make sure it feels like it's restricting you from moving backwards, restricting you from moving to the side if that's what bothers you. And uh, that should be good. So it's pretty functional, full wrist mobility, and you're good to go. All right, enjoy the game.